When living with a health concern, what you want is a quick way to pinpoint the problem so you can get on with your life. Sometimes the mystery is hidden in your blood and to unlock it, all you need is a simple blood test. Blood is a complex soup with that half of it made up of cells and the other half of fluid. Red blood cells carry oxygen, while white blood cells fight disease and others help blood to clot. The fluid outside the cells contains chemicals, proteins, nutrients, vitamins and hormones. Looking at the various types of blood cells can give a good indication of overall health and the immune system. While looking closely at the fluid we can uncover evidence of particular conditions, infections and reactions. When foreign invaders called antigens are detected in the blood, your immune system reacts by sending specific antibodies to fight them off. In some cases, this is triggered by otherwise harmless substances like dust, pollen and some foods like nuts and seafood, which for some people can become life-threatening. This is known as an allergy. Around 44% of British adults suffer from at least one allergy and nearly half of them suffer from more than one. Whether your allergic response is mild or severe comes down to how your body reacts to an antigen. This manifests in physical symptoms, including sneezing, coughing, itching, swelling, and in severe cases, anaphylactic shock, a state where swelling in your air passage can cut off your oxygen supply. In a lab, biomedical scientists can expose your blood sample to a range of things you may be allergic to, giving you specific information on what causes a reaction and how severe it may be. So with guidance from a GP or specialist, you can manage your life accordingly. When it comes to making babies, all sorts of things can get in the way. But blood tests can help us understand fertility. In the UK, one in seven couples have difficulty conceiving. That's around three and a half million people. As hormones travel around the body in our blood, a blood test can identify if a woman is ovulating and if important hormones are balanced at key stages in her cycle. For men, a blood test can determine if testosterone levels are playing a part in low sperm count or if sexually transmitted infections are to blame. Blood tests can also rule out diseases that could harm your unborn child. Fertility blood tests are key to guiding clinicians in finding the best way forward for you and your family. The big wide world is full of things that want to invade and infect your body. And you're especially vulnerable to these organisms when you travel. In foreign countries, you can be exposed to a host of diseases that you have no immune defense against especially in areas with poor sanitation and tropical regions where mosquitoes and other disease-carrying insects are abundant. You've got malaria and schistosomiasis in Asia, South America and Africa. Leishmaniasis in South and Central America, Asia, Africa and Southern Europe. Trypanosomiasis in Africa and South America where it's known as Chagas disease and the list goes on. You should always be aware of the prevalence of diseases in places you plan to travel to and immunise against them where possible. If you do pick up an infection abroad, you may not even realise it until much later. Sometimes contracting these diseases have no symptoms or mild flu-like symptoms. Travellers think they'll simply get over it. But a study conducted by the Hospital for Tropical Diseases in London found 35% of asymptomatic travellers were actually carrying a parasitic disease. The risk is the damage these diseases do to your body over time, when they're not detected. Chagas disease, for example, can cause heart failure as much as a decade after contracting it. Filariasis blocks your lymphatic system. Over the years, this can lead to disfigurement as legs, feet and even testicles swell to an enormous size. Then, of course, there's Zika, which may not cause you much physical trouble, but has been connected to birth defects. And it's not just parasites. Bacterial and viral infections, such as hepatitis C, have little noticeable symptoms at first, but can cause liver disease when allowed to persist. Even if you don't notice anything is wrong, blood tests can pick up these conditions so you can get treatment to protect you and your family from complications in the future. If you're worried about any of these conditions or want to know more about getting a blood test, visit nuffoodhealth.com or ask a question in the comments below.